Okay, this tutorial is for uh, newbies in Odesk. Ang um, gagawin natin, as soon as you log in to Odesk, pupunta kayo dito, um, let's say you want to add yung payments para bago kayo mag-apply uh, in any jobs, nakaredy na yung payment mode. So, click nyo yung gear icon on the upper right. may need you to type in the password type nyo lang ok may makikita kayong get paid dito sa bandang kaliwa click nyo lang yon and then um, kapag bago lang kayo, yung makikita nyo payment methods, just click on add payment method. Ito. Normally, um, pwede kang gumamit ng local funds transfer kasi mas madali siya. Compared dun sa PayPal, kapag nag-transfer ka ng pera every Wednesday from Odesk to PayPal, syempre kailangan mo rin i-transfer si si money ng PayPal papunta sa bank mo. So, double doubling charge yun. So, might as well just click on set up. Let's say, um, yung iyong BRST and code, search mo lang. Let's say, you're looking for uh, Metro Bank. Google. Um, BRSTN let's say ni or BRSTN code list kunin mo na lang yun for Philippine banks or mas maganda pa yata yung isa let's see ito you can actually check this tignan natin kung meron silang available here Okay, sometimes binibigay niya sa Odesk Forum pero maghanap na lang tayo ng iba like itong uh, ito. So, yan. Let's say we're looking for Metro Bank. Ito talaga. Ito yung katulad ng sa akin. Metro Bank. Ito yung hinahanap niya. Or kung naka-BPI ka, ito siya. Alright. Pwede naman siyang i-Google eh. So, just type in BRSTN or Swift Codes. Yan. Swift or BRSTN Codes PH. Yan. Or kung ano man yung banko mo, let's say naka-PNB ka, ito ilalagay mo. So, let's say Metro Bank tayo. Let's copy that. Lagay mo doon. You actually can click on go. Nine digits daw. So, I think mayroon akong na-miss. BRSTN codes are nine digits. How many? Three. Oh my God. Teka lang. Mali yata. Sandali. I'm sorry. Ito pala yun. Swift codes pala yun. Sorry. Ito yung BRSTN sa baba. Ito. Ito siya. Okay. So, click lang natin yung go. Tapos, syempre, make sure na yung account number tama. Yung pangalan dito, name on the account, make sure na ito yung saktong pangalan mo sa either ATM mo or dun sa passbook mo. Make sure na ang pang katulad ko, Ernida S. S. Plana. And then, yung address, make sure the address is correct. You can actually put in the phone number, put in I attest, and then add this account. Alright, so, once na add yun, it will go here. Magkakaroon na siya ngayon ng ganito. Every time na na meron kang withdrawal, makikita mo na siya dito. Let's say yung get paid now. 
hindi siya highlighted kasi hindi siya Wednesday. So, every Wednesday lang siya ng 8am nag-highlight. Okay? So, once na-add mo na yung payment ng method, ando na siya yung ending nung last digit nung, nung account mo, nando na siya. So, everything is set up. Now, yung, yung payment schedule mo, ako normally, I schedule it weekly. Ayun na siya, oh, payment method, which I use, Metro Bank. Make sure na i-choose mo yung Metro Bank or yung kung ano yung bank mo. Pwede ka sumahod twice per month kung preferred mo yon or you can actually have monthly pero best is to have it weekly so ito yun, may condition syempre, either withdraw, uh, withdraw mo yung every $100 or more weekly or twice per month or monthly depende sa'yo, so yun siya now kapag naghahanap ka naman ng work okay para madami ka maging application, kota sa paghanap ng work. Alright. Meron tayo mga, itong, yung profile natin, make sure na 100% siya. Meaning to say, nakapag-take ka na ng mas maraming exams. Uh, normally naman, yung mga exams na required is yung English, anything about English, Katulad nito, yung customer service test, pwede kang kumuha, uh, anything like emails, etiquette certification, yung mga ganon, English, uh, English vocabulary test, uh, word usage, yung mga ganyan, um, UK English uh, basic skills, pwede ka rin mag-spelling ka, meron din makukita kang spelling, yung spelling niya, ganyan. So, pwede ka dito, makikita yung mga, may mga test na dito siya dito, view more tests so, ayan andyan siya telephone etiquette, MS Word vocabulary, office skills test, alright so, ayan siya, kasi pampadami siya ng application quota max is 25 per week, so marami-rami yun, okay so, make sure na nakuha mo na yung ODESC uh, test uh, ODESC readiness test for agency contractors kasi para mas maitindihan mo how it works okay yung profile natin okay we can actually um, edit it this way as much as possible ilagay na natin yung the best natin na uh, mga work experience so ganito kapag newbie ka lang you can actually start it like three dollars kapag ginawa mong $3 yan yung 3.33 total charge kay client yung $3 per hour sa'yo na yon yung .33 kay client kay ODESC I'm sorry so yan so mag start tayo sa $3 kapag newbie and then ting uh, tingnan mo yung account ko I have like $25 per week okay so Medyo maglagay na tayo ng catchy title like CSR, live chat, email support, yung mga tipong all around. Years of experience, it goes in the process. Okay, so ito. Um, I made it this way. Gumawa ako kasi ng sarili kong uh, online resume. Which, ganito yung... Hindi naman necessary gumawa ka ng online resume, pero kung type mo lang, pwede kang gumawa ng ganito. Yung resume ko, I actually take it online. Meron din akong uploaded na sample voice recording. And then, this is how you actually sell yourself to clients. I ilagay mo na lahat nung pwede. Or kung hindi man, just make it as simple as yung simple resume or resume. And then, lagay mo lang siya sa Word document. You can actually add the video if you want. Um, speaking about how your experience was or kung ano yung mga, sino-sino mga naging clients, more employers. Uh, you can actually put in the languages here. Yung categories mo ng mga jobs na hinahanap mo, you can actually put it here. Normally, kapag mga customer service and anything related to customer service, phone support, anything, chat, email, uh, it's under admin support. Okay? 
So, sometimes yung naglalagay sila, nililink din na yung kanilang mga Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn to gain reputations as well. You can put as many skills as you have, like putting the customer service, telephone skills, email handling. This is how you do it. Add. So, meron na ako sobra, so hindi na ako pwede, okay? So, yan. I-add mo na lahat nung pwede mong ilagay na skills mo. And then, put in the education as well. Portfolio projects. Ito yung, you can actually add in yung, like, logo ng companies mo. Kung ano yung naging um, role mo doon. Ganyan. Yan. Dagdag mo na rin siya. If you actually have some websites na ginawa mo, inatinan mo seminar or yung trabaho mo dun sa ibang like um, call centers pwede din you can actually add your own uh, voice recording as well kasi maganda din yon na automatic na rinig ni client how you speak on how you communicate with um, clients as well so plus factor yun um, add your experiences syempre um, there you know, as many experiences as you have add it all and then, uh, kung may other experiences ka, ilagay mo na rin siya. This is how I actually make it. Okay? So, eto na naman yung basic. Now, when applying to jobs, beware. Kasi may mga, uh, ako kasi I don't normally take in fixed price jobs. What I normally like is yung, yung mga ganito. Yung may green dollar na siya, although hindi pa, kahit hindi siya yung kompleto yung buo, basta yung meron na siya. Tapos, so far, maganda naman yung kanyang reviews and ratings doon sa client na yon Go ka lang apply ka. Kung if you think, katulad dito, if you think na pwede ka dito, you can actually go ahead and apply. Ayan. And then, tip ko lang, tingnan natin kung ano yung mga usually na binibigay ni client na per hour do sa mga ganong klase ng job. So, para makasabay tayo sa kanila. Para makapag-bid ka rin. Kunyari, I could actually click on apply. Alright. So, ito, make sure na, let's say, lagay mo siya ng 3. Pero pag hinahanap naman niya expert, pero newbie ka pa rin, you can actually still put in 3 or 4. Depends. And then, pwede ka maglagay dito ng cover letter. Or you can actually just straightly answer the question, what do you think you're a good fit for this particular project? Answer it straight. Yung mga ganyan. Alright, give the best. Pwede ka rin mag, kapag voice account, best kung maglagay ka ng recording. Yung voice recording mo, ilagay mo dito. And then, you click on, I understand, and apply to this job. So, ganun lang. If you have some other questions, um, try to ping me and I'll do my best.